Today's video, we're gonna be showing you one of my favorite setups out of the U-Trips Formation Man 24. If you wanna get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, I'm gonna put a link to that in the description below. For just $10, you can get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. I guarantee you that that will help you become a better Madden player as it will not only teach you how to run an offense for a defense, but it will teach you why those principles work year over year and how you can apply those to really whatever formation that you wanna run. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, I'd really encourage you to check it out. The link's gonna be down in the description below. The play we're going to be taking a look at today is the play tight end whip out of the gun Y off trips pass formation. And our setup for this is going to be an absolute killer against man to man coverage. The most difficult coverage to beat when you're in a spread formation, whether it be trip side end, whether it be U trips, whether it be gun spread, doesn't matter what it is, um, is man to man coverage. Man to man coverage is the most consistently difficult uh, coverage to beat. So how are we going to beat it with this formation? We're going to wheel our running back. We are going to drag our slot receiver and we're going to streak our outside trips receiver. What you're going to see right here is if we get this man to man coverage, man to man absolutely cannot handle running back wheel routes this year. Um, but that is the whole purpose of putting this running back on a wheel route. It will absolutely destroy man coverage consistently and it will really open up a lot for your offense because for them to stop that, then that's going to typically walk them into an adjustment as you see on your screen where we're starting to utilize things like curl flat zones that can match to it. Um, they're just, it, it's very difficult or they're going to have to have safety help of some type, which then uh, limits what they can do elsewhere. A, example A is this zig route that we can throw to this tight end. This tight end whip it's um, it's one of the only it's one of the only routes or formations in the game that has a stock tight end whip route on it, and that stock tight end whip route absolutely crucifies man coverage. So if you think about it, how are they going to be able to defend that? Well, they're going to have to drop this guy into a, a purple or a, a hard flat. So they go through all these different adjustments and now they're taking their safety help away. And so you actually have a potential one-on-one -on -one threat to your deep streak. That could be um, a potential crazy interception by your safety or it could be a touchdown. Um, I actually should have uh, just freeformed it here, but we'll show it to you again. So again, typically this year, um, you know, you can throw these streaks over the top of man coverage. Okay. I'm not getting a great animation. Joe Flacco's throwing the ball a little weird, but in general, this streak, a lot of times is going to be able to beat man. Let me see if I can need a better example here. Let me like try to lob it out a little bit more. And that's more so what you can see. I'm actually getting crazy knockouts with uh, Deron Bland and man coverage. And he does not have a man coverage ability. The point being, a lot of times they're going to do something like the, what you're seeing on my screen right here where they're dropping a deep half defender, and it's going to take that defender out of the middle of the field, which is now going to open up this high-low in the middle of the field between the drag and the post. This is also known as a shallow cross concept. It's my favorite route concept to be able to attack man coverage. If you look here, this curl flat is going to match to the running back wheel, and then you can throw this kind of underneath in this little pocket, uh, typically, as you can see right there. And then the other thing that's going to be open as a result, obviously, of course, their user is at play as well. So that's something else that's kind of important to understand, uh, which might mean you might get this cloud flat over here to kind of help slow down the tight end whip. There's a lot of different things they're going to have to do. U-Trips is a difficult formation to adjust to. But in general, you can pretty much bank on the fact that they're going to use or the drag or the or the post over the middle of the field. And obviously, you know, like I said, you know, the, the more people they blitz, the more open everything is going to be. So you see here, they're going to use her that drag and it's going to leave this uh, post route open over the middle of the field for an easy, easy read against man coverage. Every defense is zone that turns into man or man that turns into zone. They're high, every defense essentially is a hybrid defense, really no matter what Madden that you play. And so as they have to start to adjust to the different things that we do, we are also going to be able to beat different types of zone coverage. One of the best things about spread formations like U-Trips is they space the field very, very well for things like any kind of zone coverage. So the best coverage, in my opinion, for this is going to be this U-Trips cover four drop uh, or this 3-3 um, this three, three cup, 3-3 three, three, uh, normal cover four drop. The problem is they still have to make a choice uh, here in the middle of the field. If you take a look here, this middle hook curl, if they take this hook curl out of the middle of the field, so let's say that they choose with their user that they're going to stop that post route over the middle because that is the uh, the biggest route on the play or like the, the, the deepest route on the play. Then you see how open this little drag is for a little check down underneath for a couple of these yards. 
So they have to kind of go from the post to the drag with their lurk. So essentially it might look more like a mid read, but in practicality, you know, typically it's going to be more like a right side hook curl. The reason that's significant is because if you look at these route combinations, eventually he's going to bite back down on the drag, which is going to leave this guy wide open for a big play against zone coverage. This is how you beat man and zone coverage out of U trips and utilizing the shallow cross concept. If you guys want to learn more about how to run the U trips offense in Madden, make sure that you join the Patreon. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. You'll be able to get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks by joining the Patreon for just $10 today. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.